Investigative journalism isn't dead. We're just still trying to find the killer. Tonight on Lower Dublin. <laughs> Welcome to Lower Dublin, a show from another dimension in which Lower Dublin still exists and Crocs never did. I'm Roman Smith and let's look at tonight's rundown. You heard it right. Tonight we will be discussing stories related to the word change. And spoiler alert, it's going to form the only news you will need all week. We now turn directly to a Lower Dublin special report. Thank you, Roman. I stand here on this historic day next to the cafe formerly known as Saxby's. For today, it has become an abyss. And I don't mean abyss in the sense that it's closing, but that it's actually changing its name to Abyss Coffee as a rebranding effort. But this name change from Saxby's to Abyss isn't just for funsies. It hides a deeper and darker tale beneath the surface, Roman. It dates all the way back to 1900 when the British economy was at its best. Great Britain was out of tangible objects to buy, so they started to purchase letters for their words. In 1912, the Parliament unanimously enacted the Extra U Act as a show of wealth to other nations. Then it started. First came color and amour, then behavior. New words seemed to be created by the war. Even favorite was added in a despicable showing of nationalism. Soon, the Roaring Twenties America wanted in the game. In 1921, the U.S. established the Lower Letter Exchange to act as a trading port for all letters to be bought and sold. Not everything went as planned. Budgets were cut, and the infamous punctuation scheme left tens of people in poverty. We talked to one Texan who saw the events take place firsthand. All I wanted to do was say you and all separately, but we didn't have the money. The economy was bad. It didn't affect y'all. Meanwhile, the public never knew what was happening right under their feet. Fast forward to the present, in which our beloved local coffee shop sought to rebrand and required a new name. This process was not without trial and error, for however this local business rearranged its letters, they faced a problem most divorced men face when they try to meet a new woman. Their ex was in the way. They were heartbroken and had little choice. They were moments away from being another victim of the unexposed lower letter exchange. And yet, today marks the day that Saxby's will be becoming an abyss and serving all new coffee. They somehow escaped the tight grasps of an outdated law. But where did that X go? How did Saxby's Saxie? Well, after weeks of negotiations, Lower Dublin LLC reached out and is proud to support the new abyss and proud to announce that we acquired the Saxby's X for use in our show. Thank you, everybody. Thank you so much to everyone for their help, including Noah, Andres, Maggie, Jess, Mrs. Squarey, and Dredis. Thank you for Saxby for generously agreeing to give us the X. We will put it to good use. Come on back to Lower Dockstable-in next time. Great job, guys. Great job. Really a team effort. Couldn't have done it without you. All, meta all metaphorical, though. There's no tangible X to be had. All these clubs and cars and jeeps My underground sound by waste the streets MCs want to beef then I play for keeps When they sweat the technique Before we go, we have to offer some clarifications and corrections from our earlier broadcast. When we broadcast the title for five minutes earlier in the broadcast, it read, We Hate You All. Obviously, there is some sick joke taking place in the studio, it should have read, we hate you, all. It doesn't change the meaning, but messy punctuation never works. We apologize to the viewer who I made plans with. I forgot I have something that day. An announcement. After complaints about our broadcast not adjusting for daylight savings time, 
we have corrected them. We will now be live for over 24 hours a day. Finally, our Lower Dublin silent film special will be set back a few weeks due to microphone failures on set. Come on back to Lower Dublin next time. Don't sweat the technique. Know how many bombs have I ripped and wrecked? But research has never found.